Alrighty, so I've been working on this for roughly six hours now, and I am just about ready to call it quits for tonight. So the plan here is uh, I was working with rewinding time for a little bit of time, uh, a little bit there, as well as freezing time. Now uh, I kind of re redid my setup here, and while this entire setup was the rewind time, the handle kill, the construction strip. Let's go to the default cube and let's look at the event script. All that little everything here that's reconnected and with indexes and things like that. All sorts of fun to establish. But that's not what we're going to talk about. So I had a little bit of a problem, I guess, with the way that it was running before. Now, as you can see, uh, I can manipulate this thing to go up, down, whatever. By rewinding the time, it'll, change the, it'll stick to the same velocity it had when it was going up or down. And it'll essentially just follow back down in the same order that it went. Now I'm going to step on this thing, and the problem arises when I recall and step on it myself. Things will affect, uh, things will be affected, and thankfully this time I wasn't launched into a ridiculous place. But it's happened where um, I have been launched in various different ways. So, uh, to remedy that fact, I've actually changed a few things up. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I have these platforms here. Now, why do I have these platforms? Eh, they're interesting. Rather, I've created a little bit of a system in place where I can rewind the time back all the way. Uh, I can rewind the time all the way back up. hopefully navigate this thing. So, as you can see, time has been rewound. I can make my way up these staircases now, and hopefully, and I can freeze them in place. So, you'll notice that I'm probably going to die since my hunger bar is about to go down. Uh, so, for the next one, I will reiterate. But, hey, you'll notice that I can now freeze these in place, and then set those back down to normal. I'm going to pause that. Actually, I'm going to rewind everything back up. So I'm going to do a little bit of a skip that time. As you can see, you can create little uh, platforms. You can pause the platforms in air, continue making them fall, things like that, and rejig them all the way back up in place. It's rather a it's a rather cool system, if I do say so myself. Now, the cool. Uh, a few cool things you can do with it is, well, you can make platforming sections. Specifically platforming sections that wouldn't really be possible otherwise. So while we can jump up all the way over here and do all that climbing business, uh, we can also have collapsed bridges. And reverting these bridges back to a state in which they weren't collapsed. Then we can freeze the bridge in place and walk across it like it's a solid surface as opposed to a series of blocks or destruction, uh, destroyed meshes. So the uh, system in place is, uh, oh yeah, um, one other thing I guess I should mention is the other thing that I was working on today was the death uh, animation. I might not keep it, I might keep it, I might not keep it. It mainly involves the character ragdolling after death, and while it's very fun to do and very interesting, it causes some problems in the long run. Um, hmm, I hope I can make it back to spawn before this dies. But uh, because of the death, it will not keep items, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem I can fix in the future or not. Either way, so uh, we ragdoll, and you can see the ragdoll body still affected here. Um, it's a cool little thing that got thrown in place. That's a little. That's just my progress report for today. Uh, so time has been manipulated. I can create little puzzles through, uh, I guess, kind of physics issues here. And revamping this thing, I can make it so that enemy characters and things like that also uh, are affected in the same way. Where you can freeze and manipulate that. I will probably put a mana or a bar another energy bar of some sort 
on here to make sure that it's not too abusable. Uh, the puzzles in place are going to be interesting. Uh, I know this. there's a few problems and I might try and fix that in the future. Uh, maybe a collision so that when the player enters here, that's when it first enters the freefall state, I guess, or unfrozen state. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun just manipulating that, rewinding time back to where you know it's functional. Um, the physics engine here, I tried fixing as much as I can at this point in time, and it's really just a fun little trip. We'll freeze that in air, pause, work that back up. There, I feel like it's a very versatile thing that you can do, and there's a quite a few different plans that you can do. Um, uh, I might have, yeah, I might have to make this a radius of some sort. Either way, it's been fun. It's a lot less janky than this what it was before, and freezing time no longer causes that distortion effect. But I can make it a post process so that. Uh, it, it's actually something that I want, so I fix that problem too. Um, and if we still want to do time dilation for something more interesting, then that was also an option. So that's my test. That's my progress report. Uh, if you have, if you're looking for more dev information, you can tell that um, in my test, my my test frozen. I can go into my construction script or the event script here, and this is causing me some problems. So um, the problem that I did remember having was that uh, technically I'm supposed to press the same button and it reapplies the physics, but for some reason that's not working. Not necessarily sure what the cause for that is. That said, if I press the um, rewind button, it'll reset the f it'll re-simulate the physics which is good enough for me. Uh, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to go through here and freeze the or stop the simulation so it changes everything into a um, non non physics simulated mesh so it's non it's no longer movable. It becomes kind of a static mesh, cannot be changed in game, can't be really done anything. Um, but when it is a um, When it comes, when I press the button again, it's supposed to simulate the physics again and re drop it back down. It's not doing that. Instead, I have to go into the rewind, and that will re-simulate the physics for all the objects. It's not a big deal, but it is a problem that I'll have to try and solve at some point. I was trying for what four or five hours now, and this is a playable version, so I find this uh, good enough for me, I guess. Uh, I will try and replicate the bug one last time of why I had to switch over to this system. Um, mainly because if I do see, I'm rewinding time right now, and you'll notice that, oh, well, one, I'm unable to jump, and two, it'll launch me in a random direction sometimes. Now, conveniently, uh, it landed me on here, but I've had many times where it's just sent me into the abyss. So that's been fun. Um, but I think that develops a whole lot of things for enemies, for doors closing in and out, instant kill gates, things like that. So if a door closes in and out, we can kind of pause time for a little bit to hopefully run through. Uh, if we have a... we can r uh, create bridges that weren't there, we can kind of create these sort of small puzzles once again. Uh, thank you for listening. It is a little late, so I might have just been rambling for a little bit too long. But uh, yeah, thank you, and uh, have a good night.